Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome back to another episode of brand new console mods for Fallout 4. Today we have five more brand new mods to check out. If you have not done so though already, you can check out the brand new mods for Skyrim video that I've already released at the same time as this one. If you enjoy, leave a like and we can jump into the first mod of the day. Our first mod is the Raider Quad Bike. This mod adds in a rideable quad bike with animations. Added to the workshop menu in any settlement is the new quad bike factory. You can build it and then you can build your very own quad bike in there. And you get charge of the quad bike, the Raider Quad Bike, or the covered Raider Quad Bike. Not only that, but each of the quad bikes are summonable. You can craft quad bike grenades and when you throw them, the quad bike will spawn. So you can take the quad bike wherever you need to go and then summon it just when you need it. To get rid of the quad bike, once you're finished driving it simply hit it and it will turn back into a grenade and then you can pick it up off the ground. When driving it I will admit it's a bit bumpy and the steering is very sensitive but it does not mean it's not a lot of fun to drive around the game and it makes getting around far more easy than it did before. Overall a really cool mod. Next up we have Rez's base mod. This mod adds in interior to the root cellar in Sanctuary and inside you will find custom items floating around and there is a bunch of various workbenches if you want to edit the place and there's also a fast travel icon to get here faster. It's essentially a small cave that you can turn into a player home now because you can access the workshop menu. So you can edit the root cellar exactly where it is but there's also extra space here that you can expand into if you want to build more. It's simple but I really like it and it's definitely worth checking out. Although keep in mind that a a lot of mods will use the root cellar in order to spawn things so make sure you keep that in mind and make a backup save whenever you are installing things. Our next mod is the R91 Fallout 3 Assault Rifle. The R series of combat assault rifles was used reliably following the discontinuation of the M series in the early 21st century. The R series, produced by civilian manufacturer Stent Security Solutions, was made in many models and variations. This rifle was standard issue for the National Guard during urban pacification operations. Rumours are the gunners found their R91s among the scarred National Guard checkpoints, with a few possibly scarred amongst the ruins of the National Guard training. Yard. You should find the assault rifle on these gunners after level 10 if you're looking to pick one up for yourself. Next up we have Shazri's Fenway Apartment. Shazri's Fenway Apartment adds a fully complete and decorated 3 level, true split level loft style apartment with exposed brick walls, exposed ducting and loads of character throughout. The apartment is located right outside of Diamond City and when you exit you can just see a blue door on your left hand side. For features you get a kitchen, it has full labelled storage for all food items, kitchen utensils and a usable sink and cooking workstation. You get a lounge, this has a magazine rack and liquor cabinet. The bedroom, there is a terminal here with a lengthy backstory to the apartment and the bed will give you the well rested bonus. You have a bathroom that's just off your bedroom with some labelled storage inside. A closet is also next to this with more labelled storage and you have two safes for all your valuables. The attic has got full level storage for weapons, ammo, chems and armour and it has all the workbenches up here. You also get cloud storage and all workbenches are connected to that. The apartment is free so you don't have to pay for it and all the decor inside of the house is static so you don't have to worry about knocking anything over. Our final mod is the Watts Laser Gun mod. This mod will add the Watch 3000 laser rifle with all new lore friendly design featuring custom animations, models and textures and it's inspired by the famous Watts 2000 from the Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 game. Watts laser rifle has higher damage than the AER-9 laser rifle but has a slower fire rate. It can be transformed to an automatic or semi-automatic weapon on any workbench without needing to change the battle or receiver. If you feel like the weapon does not have enough damage for sniping or shooting, you can find unique versions of the gun that will add ballistic damage to the rifle, making it one of the most powerful semi autic weapons, making it comparable with something like the Goss rifle. This option can make the rifle the strongest energy weapon in game as well. The rifle will appear in game after level 15 and at vendors and high tech factions like the Institute, Brotherhood of Steel and the Gunners. If you can't get it from vendors or enemies or you want to get it faster, there are a few unique versions placed around the game world. You you can also find non-unique Watts 3000 rifles in Watts electronic stores, plus many enemies will simply drop these versions of the rifle when you kill them, and that's the one I'm actually using in the video. Overall, an amazing weapon mod and worth downloading and trying out for yourself. Well guys, that is about it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, leave a like and comment, it's very much appreciated. And if you want to see daily console mod videos, don't forget to subscribe as well, and I will see all of you guys next time.